How's it going, Eartha here? And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to sell coffee products. Now I had to do a bit of research to uh, learn how this is possible. And believe me, this is just one way. There could be a number of ways to get started doing this. But if you wanna sell like coffee makers, French presses, coffee mugs, you know, anything coffee related that isn't coffee, uh, there is a way to do that. And I'm gonna go through the steps that I learned just doing some research. And maybe that will help you if you are trying to sell these types of products, give you a little uh, start to where you can start doing your own research and asking questions and figuring it out. All right, let's dive in. So of course the first step is to search for the products that you wanna sell. So you're going to have to find wholesale products. So these are products that you can buy in bulk. So that way you can get them at a really good price per item. And there's two places that I found that may be a good place to start your search and give you some ideas of what these products can cost and so on. So the first resource that I found is called Alibaba.com. You may be familiar with this website. A lot of people that have online stores that are selling products often buy a majority if not all of their products from Alibaba and you can buy these products in bulk and get them at a really good price. This website is made up of the actual manufacturers of these products and a majority of these manufacturers are based in China. So you can search for pretty much anything. You can find anything on Alibaba. So I'm gonna type in uh, coffee makers and just see what kind of products come up. So oddly enough, I was trying to type in coffee maker for some reason the search wasn't working, but uh, when maybe when you test this out, it'll work for you. So I just typed in mug and just wanna show you the types of pricing they have, the different products they have. So let's say you wanted to carry some of these different coffee mugs in your store. You can see that you could buy this particular mug uh, for $2.98 a piece up to $3.30 a piece and a minimum order is 100 pieces. Now keep in mind um, you want to do some uh, research as far as the suppliers go as well. So uh, one thing I would definitely check off is the supplier types here on the side. It says trade assurance. So you want to check that and then it will list all of the suppliers that have trade assurance. So what trade assurance is, is that it tr protects your online orders when payment is made through Alibaba.com. And you can read up on it on their trade assurance page, but it says here in the event that either product quality or ship date varies from what you and the supplier had agreed to, in the trade assurance online order, we will offer you assistance in reaching a satisfactory outcome, including getting your money back. So I definitely recommend dealing with the manufacturers on this website that offer trade assurance because that just protects you. And in the event that you come across a, a supplier that isn't doing their part, you can get your money back, hopefully, if that's the case and they'll work it out for you. And you also wanna make sure that the supplier is verified, like you can see here with this verified symbol, and also take a look at how many years they've been in operation. So this company has also been in operation for four years. This one has been operating for seven. So that just gives you a good idea of the type of supplier that you'll be dealing with. Another great resource for finding wholesale products is sale who and you can find them at salewho.com and what this is is a large online directory of wholesalers drop shippers and you can find just about anything you're looking for on here and all of the companies in their directories have been vetted by them they ensure that these companies are legitimate that they offer high quality products and they have over 8,000 different wholesalers in their directory. So what I'm gonna do is log in and show you how the directory works. All right, so I'm inside of the sale who dashboard and I'm gonna go to directory here at the top and click on search. I'm gonna type in coffee maker just to see what comes up. And 
Now what I'm presented with are the different wholesalers that offer coffee makers and then you can kind of scroll through and see if there's anything that catches your eye that you may want to sell. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these. Uh, this is a Brentwood single serve uh, coffee maker. And then once you click on it, it will give you the information about the company uh, uh, as well as if they are drop shippers, wholesalers, if they have a minimum order, if they ship worldwide, and also if a tax ID is required. And if I mouse over that, um, it just says that you may need a tax, you will need a tax ID for this particular supplier. So that's basically a resale license. And it tells you uh, how many years they've been in business, this particular company, 33 years, and as well as the average product price. So who makes it really nice and easy to find products as well as providing the information to contact these suppliers. Now, once you've found the products that you potentially want to buy wholesale, now it's time for you to contact those suppliers and negotiate pricing. Some suppliers may negotiate with you and some may not. They may just have their you know, flat pricing for a minimum order, whereas some of them may offer you a better price if you order um, even more products. So I'm gonna head back here to Who, and this is the way you can contact a supplier in Who. They make it really easy, which is why I like this directory a lot. So you would just click on contact supplier here and you can see the phone number and you can also click on send email and they already have the template done up for you. And then you can just add your subject line, any questions that you have and then hit send message and it will go directly to that supplier and you're all set. Now with Alibaba, I think it's a simple process as well. I've never, dealt with this website before, but there's a button here. You can click contact supplier and you'd have to have your account logged in and it'll probably uh, have a way for you to message them as well, like a little message box. So the big difference between Alibaba and Salehu is that you're going to be dealing with the manufacturers based in China. So there may be a bit of a language barrier there as well. And I'm not sure how well or how easy it is to negotiate on Alibaba. Now with Salehu, you can be de dealing more directly with uh, manufacturers in the US. So if you're based in the US, this may be a better option for you. But either way, uh, you can reach out to the suppliers on either website or whatever website that you find that you want to purchase wholesale products from. Now, after you've done that process, figuring out the products that you want, you've negotiated pricing, you probably bought the products. At this point, you also want to set up your online store. And of course, I always recommend Shopify because I'm familiar with Shopify. It's one of the easiest e-commerce platforms I've ever uh, used and you can test them out for free. They have a 14 day free trial, but uh, you can just put in your email and your store will be ready in a matter of minutes. And then once you have your products, you can take uh, professional photos of your products, create your product pages, add your descriptions and so on. And then once your store is all set up with your payment processing, uh, which is all easily done in Shopify, you can begin selling your products. Now, as far as shipping goes, you do have some options here as well. Now you could store all of that inventory yourself, which, which could take up a lot of room if depending on your situation. If you're going to be storing that inventory, you may do so in your home. Maybe you have a garage or a room with extra space. Or if you rent out like a storage facility or something. But another great option is to use a 3PL. And what that stands for is third party logistics. So ShipBob is a 3PL. And what this company does is that you could ship your inventory directly to them. They'll store it in one of their warehouses. And when an order is placed from your store, they will pick the product from the warehouse off the shelf, pack it for you and ship it directly to your customer with your business name and everything, uh, information on invoicing and everything like that. And they handle all of that for you so you don't have to store anything or ship anything. So it's a really convenient way 
to, uh, you know, do e-commerce because then you're not dealing with having to uh, handle all of that logistics yourself and your customers will get their products a lot faster. So this is a great way to do that. And there's other 3PL companies out there. ShipBob just happens to be one of the uh, popular ones that I found. So that wraps up this video. I hope it was helpful and provided some helpful information. You know, like you, I'm doing a lot of research myself and it's interesting and fun for me to figure this all out. And just keep in mind that there are other steps that I didn't cover in this, which is uh, getting your wholesale license or resale license from your uh, state where you live. Uh, that will play a role in a lot of these wholesalers that you contact because a lot of them won't uh, even deal with you if you don't have one of those licenses. So that's something that you'll have to uh, look into in your own state. But other than that, I hope that th this has given you um, some great info that you can get started doing your research and figuring out how to sell uh, any coffee products that you want in your own online store. I'll have all of the resources below this video so that you can check them out. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video.